Welcome to Can You See the Forest for All the Tree Controls? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in this video, I'm going to explore a uh, rarely used bit of the uh, Business Central UI, which is the ability to collapse lines in a list control uh, or in a list, uh, often known as a tree control. Um, and um, it, 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 it's a unique way to present data and certain pieces of data truly benefit from, from something like this, while others, it's just weird. But it's not really a, a feature that is very often used in Business Central, even in the base app. So uh, I thought I would do a video on it. Um, and we probably just need to get right into it. So let me find my Visual Studio Code. Here it is. And I have even taken the liberty of starting a page. Here, as you can see, this is just a normal page, page type list. I've chosen the GL account because we just happen to have what is known as indention specified on that one. So actually, let's, let's start by finding uh, our business central. Um, because I think there's two things that we need to define first. So now I will go to, to, now I would like to go not to the general journal, but to the chart of account. I know I did why I clicked here. And Microsoft uses the, the, the term indention in two different ways. And way number one, we see here that uh, we got stuff that is indented and, and that looks great. Uh, this is not collapsible in any way. So we don't call this a tree control, we just call this indented. And we have told that the, the name column should be indented on this one. Um, but this is not collapsible. And when I talk about a tree control, I means that it's collapsible. So we should be able to collapse 10,000 uh, and everything that's below the, that indented in should be collapsed into it. So let's get back to Visual Studio Code and, and quickly, you know, let's create, um, create a, a simple chart of account here. So we got an area, we need a repeater, we'll call it rep, and let's add some, some fields to it. Um, and I will add, you know, I want the number, the name. Uh, what about the, the balance and net change? That's a pretty good chart of count. So let's take a quick look at that. Oh, I need to log in again. How exotic. Boom. That's nice. But now this is just a normal normal list, right? There's just four columns and why well, you didn't come here to see me create four columns in the list. So let's actually start by adding a fifth column and the, the whoa, fuel <laughs> field the column we want want to add is called indention and i don't know why microsoft still doesn't prefix this with rick that seems stupid um so we want the indention and let's just run this again so we can see what's in this field because this field is no, the whole reason we're here. And uh, we can see that when we look at this table in the order of the primary key, because as soon as it comes to indention in a tree control, there's only one sorting that works. So you cannot you cannot resort something that's uh, uh, that's collapsible, because if we we can see that this actually let's let's make it make it a bit more intuitive. So I'll remove this guy, stop the 
debugger with shift of five and then use a five to restart the debugger. So I just moved the column, the indention column closer to the number. So we can see that 10,000 is at indention level zero. So that means no indention. And then we have whip and invoice and stuff like that here. And then that's at level two and current assets. So Sorry, cash and deposits, sending at level two, and there's something below that. So you can see that this, this number is just telling how far in should something be indented. So if we look at the chart of account again, we can see that that's what we're getting here. Uh, so current assets and cash deposits, Current asset is, is at level one, so it's indented one from assets, and cash and deposits is below current assets. Um, okay, so, so we have this column and we need the column, but we don't need to see it. So we can actually you know, just make it visible false. You just need to be part of the data set. That's very important. So what we can do now is that we can go up and see what else can you do normally when we work we're working with repeater we're just adding fields that's the only thing we, we we're doing with a repeater but if i hit control space we can see that there's actually you know there's stuff that we can do on a repeater um and we could try to say that the indentation column which so so here there's there's some slight confusion in you know what is a column what is a control uh, so what is a column one well, column is actually a field so what is the indentation column so what field is controlling that and that field has to be in the data set so we'll do rec dot indentation so now we have told that's what we want. So if we want to replicate what we have on the chart of count page, we can say indentation controls equal name. And indentation controls, now we are actually addressing the, the control name and here we're addressing the, the field. Uh, so it's kind of weird, it's called column, but I guess that's probably history. So now you can see that we have exactly the same thing as we have on the real chart of account page. Now it's just, you no, know, we don't have the, all the fancy formatting and stuff in bold and, so, and, and that, but we do have this exact structure, um, but it's still not collapsible. So let's actually, no, get get rid of this guy again. And since it's the, in the name of the video, what happens if we just type three? Well, we can see that there's something called show as tree. So we can see, hey, sh we can do show as tree. True. And there were actually another thing that's tree initial state. And what is that? Well. Is it totally collapse or to, oh, hang on. it's totally collapse or totally expanded? Um, we'll go with total collapse all, which I guess is, is the coolest one. And um, we'll hit a five and try this again. And now we can see that this is different from what we just saw. We can see that it says 10,000 and then 19,950. Uh, and if we open up the page inspector uh, and we, what do we do? There we go. Now you can see just, no, there, <laughs> it says zero because Assets were at level zero. We can see the total assets also level zero, li liabilities and equity zero. So all that we see now 
other ones called zero. Um, if we go back up and then we hit this little guy. Now we expand this. So now we see all the level ones. And remember current asset and inside current assets we had, what was it? I forgot. That was the cash and deposits, right? So that's current asset on, on level one, cash and deposit was a two, and cash and deposit total also a two. Then some other pieces down here. Um, and if we open this one up, we get into a level three. And we see the account. So if we expand all, so we have this guy up here to expand or minimize all. If we expand all, let, let's go just get rid of this again. Then what we have here, apart from the fact that right now it's the number column that's the indented one. Uh, so now we have the exact same thing as we have in the chart of account page. Um, but we have the ability to collapse. And you can see that as soon as this is the case, then there's no sorting anywhere because we have to keep the sorting sane because the indentation column only work within the sorting. So we cannot change the sorting because then it won't make any sense. Um, There's no way we can control whether certain pieces are, are, are collapsed or not collapsed or uh, anything like that. that that's, that's outside the, the capability of AL. It should be possible actually to use these two together, but I have not had so much luck. So now we are telling that it has to be the name column that are showing the indentation, but it's still the number one that is doing that. So I wonder what would happen if we, you know, let's, let's, sorry, like let's move this one down here. So now the name column is, and what did I do? Hang on. So number, cut, paste, wow, there we go. So the indentation th stuff happens on the first column that you see, but now we have, oh. Wow. Sometimes, you know, clicking is hard. Oh no, at this point it's no longer my fault. I click once. Here, let me let me listen. That's weird. Okay, now I unclick. <laughs> I at some point I need to start a video series uh, that just called Eric is breaking stuff. Uh, anyway, I that's probably a good place to stop this. Um, so yeah, let's repeat um, that on a let's repeat. On a repeater, you can specify properties telling that this repeater should either just do indentation or it should also allow you to collapse your indentation, aka known as a tree control. And um, at the right spot with the right set of data, this is a very, very cool thing and, and customer loves it. Um, 
you can show bombs, you can do a lot of interesting stuff uh, with with this way of visualizing things, schedules and things like that. So uh, try it out. And uh, well, until next time, uh, you can always check out this video because that's a good one. See you then. Bye.